I tell you, it, it is certainly an honor. I had no idea. I'm, I'm kind of old to be getting awards this age. And I never thought that I would be getting honors or being recognized for what I did as a player. While some college players might reach greatness for a season or two, Alabama linebacker Woodrow Lowe was one of the best players at his position throughout his career. Over his career, Woody helped Bear Bryant win four conference titles. Lowe set a school record as a sophomore with 134 tackles and was named a first team All-America. A three-time All-SEC player, he was a consensus All-America pick as a junior and a first team choice as a senior. That year, the team captain led the Tide to a Sugar Bowl win. If you talk about it, it's too braggadocious. And that's just not who he is. Humility does describe Woodrow. Just ask former Crimson Tide linebacker and younger brother, Eddie Lowe, current mayor of the family's hometown of Phoenix City, Alabama. How Eddie heard of Woodrow's latest accolade of being distinguished as the 2016 Alabama football legend presented by Regions exemplifies his brother's external, not internal focus. Uh, I found out through some friends and then I called him and when I called him he said oh yeah it, it is and, you know uh, uh, he just kind of downplayed it but I know he's appreciative of it. You couldn't pick a, a better person or a better player to represent the Camellia Bowl and be a legend. Former Auburn head coach Pat Dye, then an Alabama assistant coach charged with recruiting the southeast part of the state for legendary head coach Paul Bear Bryant, was willing to bet on the athletic but then relatively undersized prospect who played both ways for the Central Phoenix City Red Devils. I told Coach Bryant, I said, Look, I said, I'll take a chance on him growing and getting bigger. Coach Brian and Coach Dye, they came to visit uh, my mom and dad, and uh, he wanted to look you in the eye and see what kind of person you were. And uh, I think he realized that I, got, I had a hard-working mother and dad that, uh, you know, I had some character. And one of the phrases were uh, that supposedly was asked to Coach Die, would he get on the table for this player? Which means, would you put your job on the line? And so supposedly Pat Dye did that, and lo and behold, Woodrow uh, is the only player that ever made All-America three years that was coached by Coach Bryan. And that kind of correlates to the way I was raised, you know, with my family. We were a family at the University of Alabama. And, uh, you know, it was just an extension from, you know, really going from one family to the next family. So he wasn't just a fantastic football player, a guy that would knock your socks off. Woodrow could, <laughs> he could hit, and he did hit, but he's a good man and classy. Uh, you know, Coach Bryant used to say, act like you've been there before. And he'd always say, show your class. And Woodrow was the guy that, uh, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, as a young guy coming in, was one of those guys that uh, taught me the ropes when it came to those type of things. After a stellar college football career at Alabama in 1976, Lowe was selected in the fifth round of the NFL Draft by the San Diego Chargers, where the Tide's three-time All-American would blossom and become an All-Pro linebacker. In 11 seasons at San Diego, Lowe would lead the Chargers as team captain for seven consecutive seasons and amassing 21 career interceptions. He'd also unexpectedly become an integral part in one of pro football's most memorable moments, the infamous Oakland Raiders Holy Roller play. I thought I had sacked Kenny. And the last time I talked to him, you know, we was from the same alma mater, University of Alabama. I thought, I said, Kenny, you sly. I mean, really. I thought I had sacked the guy. And the next thing I knew, I looked back in the end zone, and I see the official going up with a touchdown. I was heartbroken, devastated. After 11 years of playing pro ball, Woodrow Lowe embarked on a coaching career that began in the NFL with the Kansas City Chiefs and Oakland Raiders. But Eddie says his older brother's coaching 
actually began back in the neighborhood when as kids they played in the sandlots. He, he's coached all his life. He coached us in baseball. And he was a great baseball player, and believe it or not, he had a chance to get a baseball scholarship to the University of Florida. After his NFL coaching days, Woodrow Lowe came home to Alabama, where he served as a defensive assistant coach at UAB. He then began head coaching duties at his former high school in Phoenix City, along with stops at Smith Station and Selma High Schools. He just retired from Jackson State's Tigers this past season, but the legend and legacy of his impact on the game of football will always live on as a 2004 inductee into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame, the San Diego Chargers 40th and 50th anniversary teams, and especially so for those who have come to know and love Woodrow Lowe, even by his youthful nickname. Pokey, I, I just can't tell you how proud I am of you to... Uh to be honored in this manner is not the first time, but I appreciate you. I love you. I just appreciate what you meant to me and the people in the family. And I appreciate your humility and just stay focused and stay who you are. Congratulations. Woodrow, hey, congratulations, man. Uh, nobody deserves a, this honor more than you. And uh, I got to tell you, I'm just, I feel so privileged, so honored to be able to say I know Woodrow Lowe, that I played with Woodrow Lowe, and that I can pick up the phone and call Woodrow Lowe. I, you're my buddy, and I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Have a great time and enjoy it. Woodrow, I'm sorry I can't be with you today, but I want to congratulate you on the, the honor that uh, you're getting here today with the Camellia Bowl and representing the state and the area and uh, highlighting your career as a football player. Congratulations to Woodrow Lowe, the 2016 Alabama football legend presented by Regions. <laughs>